an investment that's changing the game for other dairy farms. Statewide, there are about 9,500 dairy farms. 90% of the milk is used for cheese. According to the USDA, Wisconsin is the number one cheese producer in the country, making 3 billion pounds of cheese a year. So the demand is there, but we learned the labor pool isn't. In that old barn over there, the Fieldstone barn, we milked cows basically manually in a stanchion barn twice a day with a uh, pipeline. And At Stonehouse Dairy in Hartford, 23-year-old dairy farmer Jake Gehring is sixth generation. He's making a move now he hopes will save the family farm and business. So we went to the robotics that they show up, they're here all the time, they never leave the barn, it's always running. Out here is actually where the milking takes place. Two years of research, two million bucks, and two robotic milkers are on the job. Now four cows can get milked at once, up to five times a day, totally by themselves. There's a little more than 180 cows in here. It's what's known as a free flow system. They're on their own, roaming as they please, but when it's time to milk, they know what to do and go right for the robot. Stonehouse is the first in Washington County and among only a handful in Wisconsin to use these robots. Jake says utter pressure and food motivate the cows to get milked. We're feeding part of the nutrients that they need in the feed lane and the other part in the robot, so they're coming to get their complete diet in the robot. Once inside, the robot goes to work. It does an actual 3D image, so it knows where our udder is. Now a 2D camera is going to come behind, recognize the teat, the laser is going to scan it, confirm it's a teat, and then it makes attachment. Everything is monitored by computer. The cows even wear a sort of Fitbit that tracks their activity. We are able to do all the operations of the farm with two full-time, I'm part-time. Fewer laborers and more milk to this family seems like a win-win. They call it the future of dairy farming. In Hartford, Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. A few Wisconsin farmers have been using the, te the technology since 2014. It's also being used in other states like New York, Minnesota, Ohio, and Maryland. Also in Europe, where many of the machines are made.